Alright, it is the middle of the night, as always, in 6.5. Welcome. I have only made, like, one actual video on this update so far, and... Yeah, so I apologize for that. <laughs> but here we are, playing Beppy, the best new playable they added, and starting in the best place to spawn as them, which is Northwest. Because this is the one area of the map where you can get all of their diets. But yeah, this is Beppy right here, or at least a very tiny fresh spawn Beppy. It's one of the two omnivores they added in the last update, and I mean, it, it's just fantastic. Like, it mostly eats, you know, fish, crabs, but then it can also snack on a few plants, the radish flowers up here, wild potatoes, vines. Ooh, lots of stuff going on down there. Oh, honestly, this thing's my favorite. <laughs> Like, sure, Ceratosaurus is cool and fun, Trordon has some cool stuff going for it, and of course Galley is pretty good, but man, Beppy. Like, like, this thing's just unique. I mean, it's got the feathers going for it, that's, you know, only Hipsy challenges it there, it's got the cuteness factor, it's got the whole sub-aquatic thing, being an omnivore, the breaching from water, like, it is... Oh, really nice. Do we have some Raptor versus Packy going up? Yeah, one bad thing about Beppy, it has terrible night vision underwater. And I'm not sure how much of that is a feature and how much of that is a bug. I've heard that its night vision is supposed to be better, but I've also heard that it's supposed to be more terrestrial at night, but then again, nights take up like an hour, so what am I supposed to do as a Beppy during that time, just sit in a bush instead of actually playing the game and having fun with Beppy? No. So alright, when it comes to a goal for this video, I really don't know. But yeah, just growing this thing to full isn't really a significant challenge, like I'm already, yeah, reaching 50%, so I am right on the cusp of sub-adult. And Bebby can have a pretty good time, doesn't have to worry about any land predators because it goes in the water. The only issue you really have to worry about are Danos because... I mean, they can sneak up on you underwater, they can sneak up on you especially at night, and they will one-shot you, like even little Juvie Danos will just one-shot you. And sure, there's some instances of them being a little bit nice and friendly, find videos of that, I don't trust them in the slightest. No, just playing a bit recently, every single Dino I saw was just immediately trying to hunt me down. I mean, it doesn't matter if that thing is like a full-grown, you know, 100% Dana Sucus. That thing will chase down a tiny Beppy that's not even going to give it 1% of a diet. So yeah, I am extremely paranoid of them in all instances. You can get up to nice little spots like this. I will say, this spot is not as safe as you would think, because Ceratosauruses can actually get up here very often. Oh. The heck? Um. Okay. Now I guess I'll just make a... Yeah, let's make a journey over to the swamp. See if I find any other Beppies along the way. Okay, yeah, there's definitely Danos around. Making all sorts of noise. Yeah, this is probably going to be the most perilous part of the journey. Because right now, it seems that the real hot spot for Danos. Oh, hello. They're chasing me. Nope. Bye-bye. 
Yeah, the real hot spot for Danos is the Central River. Like, it seems that Northwest has sort of lost its, uh, its status as the premier hotspot. Which I do enjoy. Northwest is a little bit out of the way compared to, like, center. So I'm thinking... Ooh. Yeah, it's one croc, another croc there. Yeah. Not a fun time for Beppy around here. That's the only route I've got into the swamps. Mm. Screw it. Yay! Like, ah, oh, this game, it just looks so much better. Like, sure, the water graphics got a slight downgrade with this update, but man, it's worth it. Just look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And the skin... Okay, it looks awful right now because I'm in that awkward beauty phase, but it'll look much better later, okay? But when this thing's fully grown, you know, it won't be this ugly duckling looking thing. Ooh, I need food. Okay... Ooh, actually, right about here might be a good spot to try to find some crabs. The crabs give hexagon just like fish. So, okay. Oh yeah, now I can see a little bit underwater. Oh! Is that... I could have sworn that was bubbles right there. Okay, whatever. Oh wait, nope, nope, I was right, I was right, okay. So swim up to this forage. And quickly, oh, hey, get back here. Get, where are you? here -ish. A little bit hard to actually freaking move this thing. Hey, get back here, crab. There we go, finally. Okay, hop on out. And we've got a crab. And that fills that diet right up. And finally show off this skin in proper light. Oop. Ooh, and a little bit of lag. But yeah, I like this skin. I mean, I have some, like, brightly colored ones, ones with all the blues and reds and oranges, and they look really good. Like, don't get me wrong, I really like them. But I've got to say this thing, and I got this from just, uh, the randomize option. I, I really like it. It's just a sort of more naturalistic, it's not really a camouflage skin or anything. Like, it's not trying to blend in by, you know, being green or whatever. But it sort of reminds me more of, like, I don't know, animals you see in real life more often, like a raccoon or, you know, something. Or like a duck. Like, maybe not the male duck, like a mallard duck, where it has, like, the massive green head. They can get that a little bit with the gizzard or whatever here. But sort of like the female ducks. They have sort of that brown coloration, a little bit of black, a little bit of white. I just like it. Ooh, yeah, lag. The yeah, frames are not holding up down here as well as they were up there. I'm hoping that in the near future I can maybe get an upgrade to my PC. And hopefully that'll do something, though this game isn't the best optimized anyways, so it might just do nothing, but... Eh. I I've got to update anyways, I really gotta get some improvements if I want to play Starfield on this thing, like, it can run, like, Fallout 4 sort of fine. It mostly sticks around 30 FPS, but I can work with that. You know, and occasionally it'll spoil me with 60 FPS when there's absolutely nothing going on. 
but I would really like to get some good frames in this game in the future. Okay, let's get the other body of water around. Oh, one nice thing, you can regen the stam, and you regen it pretty fast anyways. Just by flowing on the surface of the water, even when you're moving around, you regen stamina pretty quickly. Okay, this is a bit risky. Open ground here. Yeah, Beppy... Like, it's an interesting spot that... Like, it's not the best in the water, it's not the best on land. It's sort of just a generalist that moves between the two as it sees fit. You know, if there's danger in the water, hop up on land. If there's danger on land, hop in the water. It's a strategy that works pretty well for it, except for when it doesn't. Or maybe... okay, yeah. Okay, this, though, this would be a spot for a nest. Just plop it down right here. Perfectly safe from anything. I mean, sure, gain up here might be an issue, but... Like, like this is the kind of thing... Like, I imagine just gateways just full of spots like this. Where Beppy can get up on a nice little ledge, make a little nest, and it's safe. So in the same way that, like, Terra can get to really good nesting spots they are really cool. You know, I just have a little overview of the swamp. Just an overall... Lovely place to have a home. Okay, here we are. I recognize this. And that didn't fill me up at all, but it completely filled my diet. There's a hipsy somewhere. I've been seeing a lot of hipsies this update for some reason, despite the fact that they got, like, no changes. Yeah, this is about how big a Beppy is compared to a person. You could just sit at this desk, do some paperwork, be a silly little guy. Actually, you could probably hide up here, just minding your own business and there's just a massive murder goose up here. Ooh. Ooh, I haven't seen these lights, the new lighting. Can't really tell if it's any better or worse than before in here, but... Right here we have a Canadian's worst nightmare. And Australian's, by extension. Ooh, can I... Can I... I can fit under the desk. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Could you imagine? Could you imagine, okay? Like, you're being chased by something and you just duck under this desk. Okay, can I sit here? Yes. <laughs> no, he looks like... You know what this Beppy looks like? It looks like a uh, wandering trader in some RPG. Actually, hold up. Let me get him at a better angle. It looks like... <laughs> he looks like the kind of guy that would go, Ah yes, Beppy has wares if you have coin. Come, I have many wares under my desk. Well, this wasn't originally going to be in the Beppy video, but uh... Just upgrade my PC, and... <laughs> Holy crap, look at those frames. And that's with me recording. That is... Oh! Oh! I can see underwater now. Holy... It's so... smooth! <laughs> oh man, it's like... Dang, it's just staying consistent. Holy crap. Oh, beesh. Uh, wait, no, I wanted a uh, uh, potato. You know, I don't even know what to say. 
just this little difference. Like, this is the first game I loaded up. Just because I knew that this thing was something that uh, my old PC struggled with. Oh, man. I, I could even turn the graphics up if I felt like it. I, mean, I think currently they're on high, but oh boy. Wow. I mean, just look at it. Like, okay, okay. I will admit, right, I will admit right here, right now, that I have long been a person that's always been just fine with 30 FPS, like... <laughs> but when I first played Skyrim, like, way back in the day, on uh, a pretty crappy PC, I got, like, 15 FPS consistently, and I just played like that until I got a PC that would play it at, you know, 30 to 40 FPS. And that was like a huge upgrade. That was like, oh man, I'm moving up in the world. But now, I mean, knowing how this game plays at, you know, roughly 20 to 30 FPS, and seeing, you know, 80, 90, 100, but I mean, heck, I'm, <laughs> I'll settle for 60. Wow, this is... I mean, I'm, I'm just repeating myself, but it is so good. It is... oh, hello, deer. Deer that has snapped its own neck. Perish. Like... I mean, I'm sure you can, like, see in the video, of course, that, like, suddenly it's a lot smoother, a lot more consistent, but playing it... That is something else. That is... Oh, man. I'm gonna have to, like, edit out me just saying that, like, 50 times. That's what I'm going to have to do. I mean, look at this! It's beautiful! I very much like in this. Oh, hello, Dano. Baby Dano, the only Dano that's actually afraid of me. And even then I beg it still kill me. Like, they can always uh, lunge things deceptively large. Or rather, the way to put that is that they are deceptively strong for their size. What is that? Hey, yo. Alright. <laughs> you guys do you. There's gonna be some well-fed baby Danos. Honestly, I would have attacked that raptor if it wasn't for all of the uh, Danos around, because I'm not gonna leave myself open. You know, even when people are being nice, even when they've got a whole other meal just sitting there. Oh. Blood right there. There are a lot of Danos in here right now. Oh yeah, I see you, buddy. Nope. You're not getting me. See ya. Okay, this should be sufficient. But oh yeah, having just, you know, all these extra frames actually makes it where I can do, like, evasive maneuvers like that. I mean, it wasn't particularly evasive. I think, uh, Beppy's actually at a disadvantage against Danos. And that's really just due to... They have the lunge, which propels them forward in the water super fast and is like a hit scan, like attack, like a Karno's charge. So that's, you know, super powerful and easy use for them. 
Meanwhile, Beppy, you're really struggling to move around evasively in water. Oh yeah, and I'm going to have a lot of fun editing uh, all these breaches together. Because they all have the perfect editing opportunity right wherever the camera goes in and out of the water. Just that transition is enough to give you a lot of leeway. Well, like, you know what? Right here? Right here? I'm just gonna make myself go backwards every time I actually, uh, like, breach and go into the water. And it's gonna look very weird. Even though I'm still talking forward. And actually, the, uh, audio might not be synced so much at this point. But, oh well. You know, I've been tossing around the idea of making some sort of just sort of tutorial series for this game, you know, just basic mechanics and such. Though, I don't know, I feel like that niche might already be filled. I've seen uh, plenty of videos that just explain a lot of the systems in the game. Probably better than I could, really. There's still some things with some dinosaurs that just don't get mentioned, like, uh... Like, Pteranodon used to have its sort of super cruise thing where it could sprint without using stamina in the air, and it was great. And I think they actually removed that, it can no longer do that anymore, which is a huge Terra nerf. Because that was the thing that actually made them a lot of fun to play. Because despite their awful, uh, like, turn radius and maneuverability, they could get up some ludicrous speeds. Like, you would be absolutely zooming with that thing. And for quite a while, since you weren't using stamina. Ooh. Look at that. The proper god ray. Beautiful. Alright. Hell you. Okay, I would hate to jinx it. But Sinter is looking relatively Dano free. Meanwhile, the swamp had a ton of them. That's an interesting change of pace. I want to see it makes sense. I mean, used to be oh. That's a Carnotaurus with its goofy, juvie rock. Rock? What the heck? Juvie walk. Can't freaking talk. And oh. Is that? Ooh, that's Dano's. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah, I see you looking at me. Oh, hello. Ooh, boy. He's not looking at me. He's looking at the Stegos. I hope we have the usual uh, Stegosaurus's fishing for Danos. Because they've got nothing better to do. But I'm not gonna tempt that they know. Because I know when they get frustrated because they can't kill something, very likely to take it out on something like me that they can easily one shot. Well, the thing is, I think. Oh, hold up. That's a Dano. That's a Dano. Yoink! I said yoink instead of yeet. Improper use of language right there. Yeah, because ye implies something is being thrown, which is myself, out of the water. But yoink implies I am taking something. Hey! Freaking Terra tried to snip at me. Bet. Are you actually gonna try this? 
Are you actually gonna try this? Hold, hold up, I got a Terra trying to kill me. It's a random. Pterodactyl is not an actual uh, creature. Get over here. It's not, there's Pterodactylus. But yeah, Pteranodon is actually the stereotypical uh, flying reptile. That's right, what we have in the game. But oh, oh, he he crashed. He crashed in the water. Death, death be upon ye. <laughs> uh, it's what you get. That is what can I swallow him. I can. <laughs> yep, I. <laughs> Oh crap, I can swallow Pteranodon, even though he's not on my diet, and I'm on his diet. The hunter becomes the hunted. <laughs> no, Alright, I think that's enough of Beppy for today. Overall, very fun dinosaur. Also has a very cute sleep animation. I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It, it's my favorite out of the new roster. It's just so unique. It's got feathers, which immediately, you know, brings it up a ton of notches. Yeah, it has such a cool niche. It has such a cool interpretation of Bapiaosaurus. Just overall, a fun time to play.